We often refer to a network performance such as internet in terms of bandwidth and data rate. These two terms are often intermixed. So what is bandwidth and data rate for a network? Let us find out how are they related. As we know most information is transferred in digital format of ones and zeros. So let us consider a section of random data stream say 11010010. Now this data can be line coded into voltage levels for example by using a simple line coding scheme such as polar return to zero where a bit 1 is represented by plus 5 volt and a bit 0 is represented by minus 5 volt. Duration of the bit pulse is say TB that is allocated time of a bit. Furthermore, a bit voltage is active for only half duration that is TB by 2 and after that the voltage drops to 0. Now the data rate is simply number of bits per second that is mathematically we have 1 over TB bits per second. We will have 1 kilobit per second data rate if we assign a TB of 1 millisecond or we can have 1 megabit per second for 1 microsecond of TB. That is the data rate increases by decreasing the allocated duration of a bit. However, decreasing this TB is only useful for receivers with good sensitivity level. Now how does this links with the bandwidth? For bandwidth, we calculate the autocorrelation function. That is the correlation of a data with the delayed version of itself. In the present case, the autocorrelation function is or g of tau, which is a triangular function. Now, we can take the Fourier transform of this autocorrelation function to obtain power spectral density, that is PSD. So the Fourier transform of a triangular function is simply a sinc square function where sinc function is simply sine of x by x. Hence in the frequency domain we can interpret the bandwidth using the PSD plot. Now in this PSD plot by first assigning the TB equal to millisecond. So in this case the main low bandwidth that is 2 by TB is simply 2 kilohertz. And if we set TB to microseconds, the bandwidth would increase to 2 megahertz. Now let us look into some fundamental issues in this context. First, we have only considered the main low bandwidth as the absolute bandwidth is simply infinity. However, very little power is beyond the main low. Also, we have considered baseband, which is not practical as the antenna size and channel conditions are not favorable. To counter this, we use a modulator, where we use a high frequency signal, say C of T, and then multiply this C of T with the incoming data stream, that is G of T. This would shift the spectrum to a higher frequency centered around plus minus FC that is the carrier frequency which is FC. The main lobe starts from FC minus 2 by TB and it is until FC plus 2 by TB. Hence the modulated bandwidth is 4 by TB hertz in our present case. Now again for the time period of a bit set to 1 millisecond the bandwidth would be 4 kilohertz Whereas if we set the time period of the bit to 1 microsecond, the bandwidth would be 4 megahertz. Now for the performance improvement. We can increase the data rate by assigning more voltage levels rather than just having a plus 5 volt and a minus 5 volt and send more bits simultaneously. For example, we can send 00. 0 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1 in terms of 4 levels and we can assign 0, 0 to a minus 5 volt, 0, 1 to a minus 1 volt, 1, 0 to plus 1 and 1, 1 to plus 
5 volts respectively. Here in the data rate would increase by n fold, where n is the number of bits stacked together. Presently, the value of n we have considered is simply 2 and the number of levels is L is equal to 2 power n. Presently, we have 2 bits, so the number of levels are 4. Do note that as we increase n, the data rate would increase, but we would desire a much sophisticated receiver to decode the data. Yet an important factor to cater is interference. Since the spectrum is expensive resource and highly regulated, design should minimize the spectrum spill very efficiently because the neighboring spectrum would be used by another service provider and hence we will be creating interference. This video expresses bandwidth and data rate in simple form at a certain abstraction level. Topics such as autocorrelation function, power spectral density and line coding are expressed in greater detail in the communication system playlist.